Hi, this is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and this video is on leaky gut. So, leaky gut equals autoimmune disease. It equals thousands of symptoms, which equals hundreds of diseases. So, leaky gut happens here at the intestines, and um, I'm going to go over this with you. This is a quick drawing of... Uh, Here's the liver, here's the stomach, here's the pancreas, sorry it's kind of messy but I just did this real quick. Here's the gallbladder right here, I didn't label that, but so food comes into the stomach and then it passes through the, there's a small intestine and a large intestine right there. So from the pancreas we get enzymes to digest carbohydrates. From the stomach we get hydrochloric acid to digest protein and from the liver and then the gallbladder we get bile to digest the fats. All of these digestive juices mix with the food and they start and they meet here and they start to pass into the small intestine and the food gets digested as it goes through, you know, this is the whole thing is 30 some feet long. So you have lots of lots of feet of intestines. And the so what leaky gut is is that you can have a large hole in the small intestine where undigested proteins pass through into the body. When I say large, it's still very, very microscopic. Okay, but it's too large, and large undigested proteins go into the body from the intestine. So here we have an example. I just wrote a bunch of A's. So A stands for amino acid, and uh, it could be 15 amino acids long or 25 amino acids long. And then here I wrote three A's. So let's just pretend that this is a small digested protein and um, this is normal. Okay. Now the large undigested protein looks like a foreign invader or some sort of foreign material to the immune system. So it starts to eat it up. It like engulfs it and eats it. And, um, and that's okay for a little while, but after a while the immune system will start to attack other proteins in your body that looks like this. So if this looks like brain tissue, now your immune system will start to attack your brain and then you can get like a furthering of Alzheimer's or a cause of Alzheimer's. If this protein, if these proteins look like your joints, your immune system will start to attack your joints after a while. And we can go on and on. Skin, liver, eyes, etc., etc. Any organ in your body, if, this, if these large undigested proteins are being attacked by the immune system over and over again for months or a couple of years, after a while you start to get autoimmune. Your immune system is attacking it, your, your own body. So it could just be like a localized autoimmune, like just your skin. Or it could be like all your organs or most of your organs. Okay, it could be I'm just putting this out there. It could be a little localized too. So that's what autoimmune um, disease, or that's what leaky gut is, which leads to autoimmune, which leads to all these other conditions. So the bottom line is um, you can fix this. And the way you fix it is by eating the right food. All right, no white sugar, no white bread, no white pasta, no white rice, zero. That food, that is not food. Our bodies don't know what to do with that stuff. Um, that includes high fructose corn syrup. Stay away from that. Um, a good meal would be meat and vegetables. When I say meat, it, that could be fish or that could be eggs or chicken. I'm just saying some sort of fat and protein combination with vegetables three times a day. Some sort of fat protein combination plus vegetables three times a day. So um, now there are supplements to help with this too. So uh, the best one would be a supplement with, ex with intestine in it. So we have three of them, and all three of them have lamb intestine in the capsule. So you're actually taking intestine when you swallow these capsules. And it fixes leaky gut. It's helpful for that. So don't be grossed out by that. That's just the way it is. You know, sausages, all sausages used to be made with intestine a long time ago. And we used to eat thyroid sandwiches, and we used to eat liver all the time, and tongue. But I, as these foods are taken out of our diet, our bodies become deficient 
in those nutrients and in those proteins and then our bodies start to you know the health starts to go down so that's just the way it is don't argue with me on that you gotta argue with mother nature take it straight to her <laughs> so um so just to give you the bigger picture here on what this can do leaky gut pro a problem here leaky gut can cause pain in your pinky or or knee pain or a hives or you know rash um, fatigue depression so it's a cause of a lot of things and um, and I have a patient who when she stopped eating wheat the pain in her in her right pinky toe went away actually it was my mom and then she would eat wheat again and the pain would come back and she stopped the wheat and the pain would appear so the wheat was causing some harm in her intestines somewhere and it caused pain in her right pinky toe go figure like I don't know what the mechanism is like to actually um, focus it just on that toe but we know what's going on here and we know how to reverse it so I hope this is helpful for you and um, it does apply to most health conditions honestly so no matter how bad your health is start working on folk you know like working on a good diet and know this information and apply it so that you can get healthy. All right, take care.